No issues. Doesn't bark. She'll bark every, when she hears something. Yeah. Um, and I've started to leave the gate open more often. She's like, you know, still not confident she's not going to jump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I stay close. But like, if I go to the shower, I always shut the, that door. So they've all been really good not going after each other. What do you got? The gate. Nothing. She's just enjoying you rubbing her butt. Oh. <laughs> I thought she was doing something. You got your butt rub? You got the butt rub? Who's such a good girl? Who's the best? Who's the best girl? <clears throat> Lots of tail wags going on here. Hi, Carol and Smith. I'm going to ask all of you that are going to wait and see who comes on and jumps on here. And for all of you that know Tammy Gwen Robinson, do not <laughs> guess, but I want everyone to guess who is this beautiful black beauty in front of us right now. Let's wait until some people come on here. Let's see. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Jan. Hi, Elaine. Who is this? Does anybody know and recognize this beautiful girl? It's been a while. Yes, Allison, you hit it right. You're the winner. Allison, send us uh, an email with your full name and address. We're going to send you a rescue shirt because you guessed who it was first. Send it to 100 plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Everybody, check this out. Check this out. Do you remember? This was Kendra that was found on the streets, emaciated with the TVT, venereal disease, if you remember. It was so painful to look at her. Um, we actually got the approval to pick her up and break her out of the 24-hour animal hospital where she spent all of her time. Uh, the staff love, loved her and still loves her. Um, as you can see, she had five rounds of chemotherapy and it worked without surgery. She is actually here with us. This is Michael. Michael, say hi. hi Michael is part of our 100 plus crew, and Michael so kindly opened up his spare room. Um, actually, it's a garage, but it's made into like this own apartment suite. So Kindred is now staying with Michael um, just for a little bit, and we are in search for a forever, forever loving home. She's, she's not as big as she looks in the She room. is 43 pounds. That's it. And she's short. And she's short and she's sweet. Can you get her to do her whole routine and show off? She's here to get her vaccines. She's here to get her microchip, get her nails trimmed, and then talk about getting her spayed. <laughs> she's nothing but love. Nothing. Michael... Tell us. Tell us about her personality. She's very playful. She's a little chatty. She likes to talk to you. She likes to bark at my dogs a little bit. She's very playful. She loves to eat. She enjoys food. <laughs> um, she loves to cuddle. I'll go into the garage and I have a big, nice ottoman. I'll lay in the, uh, the ottoman with her and she'll just snuggle with me. And She's just this really perfect dog. She's never had an accident in the house yet. Not destructive. Um, no, nope. And doesn't chew anything. She's just perfect, right? See, I'm oh, perfect. Wow. I am perfect. <laughs> And Jan's been going over, um, <laughs> and she's been helping out Michael when he's at work and letting her out and walking her and letting her run around the yard. This is amazing. This is just an amazing transformation to see the condition that Kindred, I, I don't even know if you all remember um, what she looked like when we first took her in. Um, this beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. dog that the life that she was living on the streets, she's had litter after litter, a huge, deep, um, indentation, tether ring around her complete neck where she was basically tied. Either she was just thrown out, discarded, or broke away from a very bad situation, which probably saved her life, definitely saved her life. Um, no more. No more. That's all behind her now. Call those battle scars. So this girl is looking for a forever, ever, ever loving home or even a foster. Somebody that is looking for, I'm telling you right now, this dog is going to be in your bed. There we go. 
she's going to be in your bed and she is going to want to cuddle you and kiss you and smother you with nothing but love. <laughs> she's five years of age, again, 43 pounds, lab mix. Um, she's perfection. As far as other animals, we don't really know. It would have to be a meet and greet. Uh, we don't like to label our animals not animal friendly, so we don't know until we try. Um, no cats. Though. Yeah, no cats. Uh, she was just a little too interested in the cat in the lobby, so. But definitely, if it's the right dog, she might do fantastic. <laughs> She definitely is a cut. This you remember this now. Everybody remembers Kindred. Remember those paws in the video before, and all she wanted to do was grab. She literally, Jan had a photo, one of our teammates, and she was grabbing a hold of her whole leg, reeling her on in. Right, Kindred? Right, Candy. See, and I smile too. Hi, 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 Candy. Hi. These are her beautiful expression paws that she just wants to reel you in and hug you and kiss you. Why? Why, mommy? Why? So please, guys, let's get Kindred into a loving home, a foster. Forever would be perfect. Let's show this girl what the true definition of unconditional love is for everything she's had to endure, everything she's been through. Um, let's show her what it what the true definition is of love and get her out of here and get her into a home. And Michael's been so kind to open up you know, a little space for her. But honestly, we have so many dogs that need that space. So if we can get Kindred in a home, we can definitely help out another in need that's in a kennel environment. Fosters are gold to us. And they also help cut back on our boarding costs where the money could be used to help medically treat an animal in need. There's the front part of it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's all behind you now. That's over. That's over. <laughs> All right, guys, I just wanted to update everybody. It's been a while um, since we've actually... Oh, God bless you. Bless you, Kindred. <clears throat> Please reach out to us. Please consider giving this baby girl a loving forever home. Kindred, five years of age, 43 pounds, black lab-ish. Uh, there's no bully breed in her. <clears throat> and we just got the bill for her after everything was said and done for all her medical care. $8,000 <clears throat> and change that we have to pay off. So we really need help um, trying desperately. Our team is really, they're working day and night with fundraising and begging and just trying to recover. Um, I'm sure you all notice that we have not been pulling in any dogs lately and we're not going to either until we can recover from these very high vet bills. Um, we just can't. We want to, but we can't. So please uh, consider opening your home, your heart to Kindred. Uh, please consider making a donation for our ongoing mission to allow us to say yes to so many dogs that are like Kindred out there that we can't help right now because we're stuck. It is a horrible place to be in, and, and it's not easy for us, trust me. So this is Amy with Michael and Carol and Kindred. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. You can reach us if you're interested in, in helping out here um, at 877-506-8100 or you can email us with your contact information at 100 plus plus abandoned dogs at gmail.com. Thank you in advance for your love and support and we hope to hear from you soon about Kindred.